weld the bumper cover today. Yeah, here she is. You get a little bit better view of the interior today. You know, the last video you couldn't see anything, so. Oh, looks like we got a light on. I think this battery's good. I was able to uh, revive the battery because it was dead when I got it, so. Hopefully, uh, we'll see if she starts up. Oh yeah, fired right up. Old Toyotas, man, you can't kill them. Um, we do have a, I, didn't, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video or not, we do have an airbag light. Um, I'm guessing it's one of the, uh, the seatbelt pretensioners. Neither of them is locked up, but sometimes it'll blow the pretensioner even though, uh, even though the seat belts don't lock up, so it was probably a hard enough impact in the rear that one of them locked up. I don't know if the rear seat belts have them in it or not, or just the front ones, I'm not sure. So uh, it could be any of them. I'm not going to fix that. It's just going to be a light that's there. Um, yeah, so the interior isn't bad. Um, we don't have a cracked windshield, which is nice. Um, this is one I don't have to replace the windshield in, so um, that'll be nice. Uh, oh, I lied. It's 31 degrees outside, so no check engine lights or anything. It's a good thing. Well, we'll see if we can get her to move. Clunk, clunk. Wheels froze up because of the ice, but don't hit the Civic. Civic just got fixed, so we don't want to fix it again. Watch where I'm going. Don't hit the other vehicles. We're about good right here, I think. Oh, she fired right up. That's a pleasant surprise. I just kind of thought I had would have to jump it, but it's nice. So let's see what we got going on. So. I did help the guy at the parts yard pull the other hatch because they actually initially pulled the wrong one for me. Uh, I, I ordered the one in a specific color that I wanted and they, uh, they pulled the wrong one. So I actually went out and helped him pull the correct one. I'll show you in a second. But uh, the thing about it is this wiring harness goes down underneath I don't know if you guys have any experience with this or not but it goes underneath and it plugs in right about here underneath so you gotta pull down the headliner and you also have to pull this panel out or at least not all the way but at least to the side a little bit not sure if you have to pull this one or not I think I'm gonna try to do it without but I think I will end up having to do it so this is pretty simple and the way these hatches work is there's two sections so um, on this hinge the glass and the metal hatch part both connect to the same hinge this outside part is the glass um, this is the hinge and then the inside part is the hinge for the um, the door itself so these, these two uh, I think they're 12 millimeter bolts on each side and then the wiring harness. This is the worst part of it because you got to get inside the headliner and disconnect that. So we'll start. Uh, we'll start working on that. Um, I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll show you, but I'm not gonna record the whole thing. Um, I did order a tripod for my to hold my phone, so I'll be able to do more of a live me working on stuff. But it's hard for me to hold the camera and work at the same time unless I have somebody here with me, which I don't. So, so let's. Uh, Let's get busy. I'll show you, give you an update in a couple seconds. So this isn't really too hard to do. You got the four uh, little uh, latch thingies. So you gotta take them four out, just a 10 millimeter on each. Then that uh, plastic thing pretty much just pops right out. And uh, you don't have to undo anything else, it just comes right out. And this is the, uh, the one that's broken. I'm thinking I can probably salvage this one. I'll just trim it along the bottom so it's even it just isn't going to have that bottom piece or whatever and uh that corner straight should be good um 
good enough for this vehicle. Then this top piece just pops back. I would undo the whole thing. I just pop it out from here. The headliner, I took one little pin out up there, just that little plastic thingy. And then this is just attached by these in a couple spots down below. Then you unplug three, one, two, three. And then this thing up here uh, has like little, little clips that you got to get underneath and push on each side and then it, it'll, come, it'll pop out. So next thing, I'll just fish this wire through here and then I'll start taking the bolts off. Oh, one more thing you got to do is take, disconnect the, the struts from um, the window because they're two separate pieces. The window does not come off with the hatch. So you got to disconnect the struts so, you, so you're loose there. And then you can take your bolts on, take your hatch off there. So it wasn't as bad. That wasn't as bad as I thought. <clears throat> but I mean, I thought it was going to be a big bitch getting that off there by myself, just as for awkwardness level, but uh, it wasn't. Um, it's, this is actually pretty light. This is the damaged one. Here I got the new one right here. Um, one thing I noticed though, and I, I'll tell you in a second why this is this way, but this wiring harness is different. This has an extra wire here, and this blue plug at the end is different. This is the one that came off the car, and it's uh, it's smaller, and it doesn't have that extra, because this car had a, a wiper on it, so that's the reason why, that's the reason why um, there's one extra wire, it's different, because one had different, they had different options or whatever, but I believe, you can unplug the harness down here and snake it up through there to here and switch it to the other one. So I'll get started on doing that right now. That went back on pretty painlessly. I don't have it all buttoned back up yet. I just wanted to show you. Like I said, you can, this wiring harness was different. So it wouldn't have plugged into um, this over here correctly so um, all I had to do is unplug from here take this one clip out right here all you just push those little tabs with a screwdriver poke it through pull this out and it just came right through then there's one more wire that comes over to this light through here so it goes through up through here and over here but it fished right through like nothing it's no it didn't give me any trouble nothing so this is what the harness itself looks like this is the one that didn't match, but all I had to do is replace this harness with the one from the the damaged one. Everything went together. Now this light goes right up here. I just, I, I'm gonna change the light out because the the hatch I got the good one didn't have the red piece on top. So that just goes in with a couple screws and a plug. And let me show you. I got all the. This is a weird, it has two struts, as the struts holding up the, the lift gate and the glass. And the ones holding the glass don't do a great job, honestly. But that shuts really evenly. I was worried about it not latching properly, but there's, I mean, it takes like no effort to, and it's latched, so. Um, lines up good over here, over here where's the, where it was hit. I think I'm gonna need to pull it out just a hair more because you can see there's just this is my finger it's like half the width of my finger um but that's still in and so ergo i don't know if you can see up in there that's not the rubber isn't going to seal properly so we'll get dust in the back if i don't pull it out just a little more which is fine i can i can manage that and uh, i didn't expect it to be this good on the first try so then the glass is solid or it's shut, I should say, and then let's just push the button. And the glass comes up. If you push it all the way up, the glass stays up, otherwise it uh, falls down, but just the struts are getting a little weak. And uh, 
yeah, so everything's pretty good here. Um, plug back in and working. So I got a fix. I forgot about this. The uh, this is the panel that goes on the inside here. Had a crack in it. I got to fix that. I got to fix that other plastic piece. But like I said, I'm doing this project on a budget. I'm trying to buy as few parts as possible. So, um, but when it's done, and it's already close to done, it should be good to go. So, um, I just got to get this bracket. I got to pull this out just a little more. Um, fix those two little plastic pieces. Fix the bumper. That's all like plastic welding. I said the bumper looks pretty good. I mean, it just got a couple damaged spots like I showed you. And we should be good to go here. So that's all I'm going to do for today, I think. I'm losing daylight. I only got about another half hour of daylight, and I got to clean all this mess up. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty short. All it is is we just replaced the hatch was it. So... Um, I do have that hubcap, by the way, so I do have all four hubcaps for this. Um, please like the video. If you enjoyed the content, subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it. If you feel so inclined, if not, that's okay also, but I would appreciate it if you feel like it. And uh, you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll talk to you soon.